We need not fight another war. There is still time to see reason. Wait. Ooh. Good punch. VB, you were four years clean of WoW? Well, technically two. If you count me playing Shadowlands for like a few hours. <laughs> but I don't know, I barely count that. I played a few hours of Shadowlands and I just immediately stopped playing after that. Um, but yeah, uh, the last time I played the game seriously was in Battle for Azeroth, which was four years ago. I don't like the flying. My god. This is damn silly. It is. When I saw my friend running around on a horse like it was position hacking like a Guild Wars uh, botter, I was like, how is this uh, acceptable? Old game. That's, you know, the truth of it. And World of Warcraft is not, you know, solely, you know, victim. I don't know if victim is the right word. That is definitely not the... Uh, culprit. There you go. It's not the sole culprit. Final Fantasy XIV does the exact same thing. In that game, the mounts are just as ridiculous. In terms of movement, anyway. When there is over 600 mounts, there is bound to be a couple of stupid ones. Oh, no. I mean, like, it has nothing to do with, you know, uh, the looks of one mount in particular. I'm, we're talking about the way the, the mounts move. So even this one. This mount is cool. I like this mount. This is a badass mount, in my opinion. However, the movement, it's just the movement that's very, very silly. And it's it comes from a place for... Uh, the reason why I think this is because I play Guild Wars 2 now. Guild Wars 2 mounts, you know, have weight to them. They have physics. They have... Um, they feel... They make you feel like you're actually on a mount. Whereas this, you know, there is absolutely no friction, it feels like. It's like I'm, you know, uh, playing around with a toy airplane, you know, as a kid. I'm just going, Wee But in Guild Wars 2, um, I'm actually piloting an airplane. You will like the dragon riding a lot more? I do. It's still not great. But I do like it more than the base mounts. I've actually had, uh, had a taste of the dragon riding with the Drakthir. Last week, I made a Drakthir character. I played the Evoker, and I went through the entire uh, starting zone. And I flew around. I was playing around with the Soar ability. And uh, it's okay. It's all right. I would imagine that I would love it if I only played World of Warcraft. Because, technically speaking, it is one of the best features they added into the game. However, because I have tasted, you know, something a lot better, um, still doesn't feel quite right to me. But there are limitations to the game, and I imagine, you know, they can't make it feel any better than that. Yeah, it's not the movement I was commenting on, more that it was just a normal running horse that just went up. Oh! Oh, you mean like that? Eh, a little immersion breaking, but I don't think that's a big deal. That's okay. Oh, well, I mean, take a look at Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is way worse at that. You can fly a car. Dinosaurs, elephants, you name it. At least in World of Warcraft, they do kind of pick and choose. You can fly some horses, but you can't fly every single four-legged mount. I and a whale, yeah. Favor us. And a bed. Yeah, there's a bed mount. True. It's an enchanted bed, but it's a bed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm new here. What's a horse? We don't have those in Tyria. This is a horse. You have these. They're just probably an endangered species now. You made quick work of gathering our expedition members. I admire efficiency in my traveling companions. Now what? Oh! Cadgar! Guards! 
Arrest this handsome wizard. Shut up! Be at ease. Sh she, she did not just say that. Apologies for my abrupt arrival, but the news I bring cannot wait for pleasantries. Did she... did she just say that? <laughs> Chadgar. Cadgar is actually one of my favorite characters. I like Cadgar. He's cool. But he's back! Okay. I've just had a rather enlightening... No, make that foreboding. Yes, a foreboding conversation with an old friend. Sometimes a revelation can be both, after all. I really must tell you of what I've learned. Okay. What happened? Easy. Oh. Oh, cutscene. Is that a uh, Azure Ghost? He's a blue dragon. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Kadkar. Something terrible. Galakos. Tell me. It all happened so quickly. And Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. Oh yeah, I was there last week. But he was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. What the hell? Where is that? She let me live with a message. Oh, hey, it's they the other dragon to aspects. Cleanse the world of the Titan's stain. Alex Strasser, who is she? What is she? She is Razagath, youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? Four dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. I remember that. They did not. Oh. The war that so they were boomers. Was unimaginable. They didn't like change. And it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed... Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our dragon flights must be made anew. She's wearing a lot more makeup. Our queen is determined, Kadgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. Hmm. Then it seems the mortal races too must answer the call and face the storms ahead. That was the Cadgar theme from Legion. Or one of the themes that played in Legion. Huh, a blast from the past. And there, damn, that is a huge zeppelin. They've gotten bigger. Adventurers, we shall depart for the Dragon Isles shortly. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I gotta turn in this quest. Uh, unsettling news, yeah, I know. Um, here we go. I could use your expertise. Uh, ride the Defiant Dragon Scale to the Dragon Isles. Okay, I will do that. I don't want to miss the ride. 
The defiant dragon scale in all its Let's go, let's go, let's go, lady! The ship's gonna move! All aboard for adventure, my friends. I don't want to miss the ride. I could have flown there and back again by now. I did not mind at all. Yeah, you could have, but uh, you would have had to wait for that four minute cooldown. And who wants to do that? So many new species to document. And maybe get eaten by. <laughs> While I don't care for WoW, I can't deny Blizzard really knows how to do cinematics. Yeah. They do their cinematics really, really well. Uh, I've said this uh, time and again, I don't think anybody can criticize their art team. You can say everything, you can say a lot of things about, you know, the game itself. But the art is very good. The cinematography, um... When they actually animate their cutscenes, they are very good. But when they when they do the in-game, the in-engine cinematics, those look goofy as heck. Answers if Welcome to the questions. Dragon Isles. Let that Frodo dragon looks hungry. What? what There's a monkey throwing stuff at random people. <laughs> what? Is it, is it gonna do it again? Yeah, it's doing it again. It's throwing bananas! Rude! Holy! Oh god, I'm gonna die! Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, thank goodness I'm a paladin. The great thing about being a paladin is that, you know, you're kind of tanky. So you don't got to worry about thinking or planning out, you know, an attack route. Making sure you don't get ganked by other enemies. You just sort of, you know, you, just, you don't think, you just act. And that's my play style. Mind your step in there. He was clearing out the rubble last I saw. I'm also you two were adversaries before leading this expedition together? Ah, uh, ah yes. The Horde and Alliance have a long history of rivalry. But Toddy and I pursue knowledge, not violence. And adventure! Knowledge is only half the fun. I feel like the line reads are a little better over here now. I was criticizing the line reads in the Drakthir story, uh, the starting area. It was very, very goofy over there. But over here, so far, it's been alright. It's been okay. So where do I stand with the Dragon Scale Expedition? What the hell is this? Earning reputation will fill this bar. Once full, you will gain a renown level and unlock a reward. So the reputation system is different. Account on Oh, they unlock for the entire account. That's very good. In the past, you would have to do that for every character you make. So like say you earn reputation on one character and you maxed uh, maxed it out. On another character, you would have to do that again. But now, if I'm, you know, interpreting this right, you don't have to do that with multiple characters. You can just do this on one character, and every single character has access to these things. That's good. That's, that's very good. Good change. All right. Look always to the same. About damn time. Each page is filled with elegant, handwritten form for each visitor to fill out. Well, I'll fill it out, sure. The first column asks for your name. That's a lot of choices. Cheesecakey, the real queen of dragons. Rathian's BFF. Chromie, Dreamy Eyes, Caligos, Dreamy Eyes, Caligos. I'm going to say that I am the real queen of dragons. Let's see uh, if anybody responds to that. The middle column asks for your arrival time. What? I don't believe in time. Time is a construct. 
the final column asks for the purpose of your visit. For cute baby ducks? To save the world again. Why does anyone do anything? Epic loot. Yeah, there you go. Epic loot. That's why. What a joy it is to see new signatures in the visitor's log after all these years. My question is now, the dragon aspects have been here before? Right? Maybe? Probably? And supposedly the dragon isles have been lost to time. How is it that the dragon aspects, you know, just... Have they forgotten where the Dragon Isles were? Have they always known, but they never bothered to share with the mortal races? Maybe they lost access. VIP access. We have a mission to accomplish. I was trying to avoid some of the... I've been avoiding Dragonflight story um, for a while. Because I wanted to experience it on my own. I was avoiding spoilers. Back in the old days... I didn't really care much about that. I would always, you know, look up the cinematics, you know, in Wowhead. Whenever Wowhead posted something, I would be like, all right, I'll just watch it on Wowhead. But now I kind of want to, like, you know, see it myself, experience it when it's meant to be experienced. With the exception of the raids. I don't plan on raiding. Whoa. I'm not a fan how Blizzard ties in the the main storyline with the raids. Hey VB, how are you enjoying DF so far? The so ever since I you know started playing on my Paladin, my experience is significantly better. Um, the Evoker just didn't cut it for me. Yeah, I was not liking the Drakthir Evoker at all. And I think it's just, you know, how the casters in general feel. Casters in WoW uh, are not really... In my opinion. In my opinion, they're not very fun to play anymore. Now that I've played casters from other games. Melee classes, though? Melee classes feel alright. They're okay. And I imagine Hunters... Um, are okay as well. It's just the casting. The cast, you know, I'm not a fan of having the cast, you know, having to sit still and wait for the casting bar to fill out in order to fire off my spell. I feel like that's an old, antiquated, you know, way of, uh... It's a relic from old action RPGs. Yeah, that's what I've come to love. <laughs> Well, it's not just that. Uh, on top of being able to, you know, fire off your spells in quick succession, but also being able to move uh, without being hindered when you're doing your abilities. Like, I, I like being able to move right now. I like moving. I don't enjoy, you know, just standing still. Unless I'm playing a turn-based RPG. Then I don't mind. Because that's different. You're strategizing, you're planning out your move. There we go. I don't gotta eat food or anything. Damn. It's another, you know, big uh, positive about being a paladin. You don't have to stop and eat every single time. Eat food and water. Damn, that's an old thing that I also don't miss from, you know, old... MMOs. I don't know. I, out of all the classes, Paladin allows me to play the game with uh, the least amount of friction. If that makes sense. Why am I eating food? Let me clarify. So, in WoW, when you eat food or water, your character has to sit still and sit down. And they're eating, you know, for like 10 seconds. That refills your health and your mana. So now I gotta find the Brazier of Kinship. Brazier of Kinship, not the Brazier. Oh my god, I'm still doing it. No, alright, fine. Yeah, the Brazier of Skinship. May this Brazier once more guide every peaceful denizen of Azeroth. Gondor requires aid! 
I have never done mythics. I'm very much a casual player. Especially with WoW. The last time I've uh, seriously raided was Wrath of the Lich King. And it was Ice Crown Citadel. I've done other raids uh, past that. I've done um, the Emerald Nightmare and Legion. And I think I did a bit of the Nighthold. Um, I've done LFR mode of the Palace of the Thunder King. And that was it. Yeah, that's... That's my raiding experience. You look like you've got skill. I've had no drive to do any real endgame this expansion, and it's been great, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... Even if I don't end up, you know... Feeling this expansion, feeling Dragonflight, I can always, like, take a break. And that's what I've been doing with Final Fantasy XIV. I've gotten tired of Final Fantasy XIV, but I come back every now and then just for the story. So I have, you know, resorted to just coming back to Final Fantasy at least once a year or so. Ready to serve. And there's nothing wrong with that. Does the Major Domo personally respond to every call for help? Major Domo, Major Domo. Oh, Major yes. Domo, Major Domo, Major Domo. In times of trouble, there is no one Queen Alex Straza trusts more. Hmm. I'm gonna RP walk with them. Ooh. Oh, it's Rathian. Wait, the other dragons of Volpera? Ah, look who we have here. We saw the flare and assumed the worst. What is wrong, Cadet Sandrax? Major Domo, uh, the new arrivals were wondering where you were, and I thought. Uh... I see. There was a reason for our absence. An ancient rival, the Jaradin, have stirred to violence once again. How are you doing, Rathian? The last time I saw you, I think, you know, I saw the cinematic where you got slapped by Alduin. That was funny. Cadet Sendrax, escort the adventurer to Commander Lethanak outside Dragonheart Outpost. Assist with the evacuation of the Welklings and Wounded. Yes, Major Domo! Major Domo, Rathian Major Domo. and I will take to the skies and keep the Jaradin contained inside Scalecracker Keep. Do hurry along, champion. After all, we wouldn't want the battle to be over before you even arrive. Oh. There they go. I feel like Rathian has mellowed out. A lot. He used to be a hard ass back in the day. Yeah, he did some hardcore shit in Mists of Pandaria. Like, he lynched a dude. I've always imagined the dragons to be the apex predator. with glorious life. May we never tire of its beauty. Ooh. Sleeping on the job, how dare you. We protect the Isles. Oh, they're injured. My bad. <laughs> Injured, sleeping on the job, same thing. I wonder if they are earthen, uh, if they are descended by the earthen. Like, like the trogs, like the dwarves, like, uh, the Rykul. They seem like they would be. What? Oh, behind. Oh, look, it's a baby dragon. I got you. What are your big eyes? Very kawaii. Okay, and... Is she naked? Not to be rude and stare, but... She's naked. I, what? She's topless! I'll have a quick look. What is going on over there? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Why are, why are there hippos being lifted in the air like that? Are they being bullied by the air elementals? Just click on them? Oh! That should have killed me. Wait, that's not a hippo. That's a bird. Even the birds are not safe. 
poor bird. The bird is being drowned by the water elemental. There you go. I will undrown you. <laughs> that was funny. Wait, what the hell? What is this? There's a quest over here. What is this? This duckling flails around frantically inside the bubble, quacking in fright. Maybe the ecologist would know how to help it. Is this gonna float around in the bubble with me? I have a duckling for you. Can you do something about this duckling? We can't keep him. Waddles. His name is Waddles. Waddles? <laughs> oh, okay, all right. We've cleared the tower for our leaders. Head up to join them. Oh, up this way. What the hell? Sierra flame tamed. Champion. Oh, good news from the outpost, I hope. Um Yeah. I saved a baby duck. Speak to Rathian spies hidden around the keep. He's got an organization. He's got a Black Ops team called the Black Talon. Until now, we will draw their eyes above for you. That should give you some cover. We will meet you at a forward position when you've done some good work. <gasps> oh, you mean I... Hmm. Maybe I get it soon. I'm still, like, in the first zone, right? How, how many zones are there? I haven't even checked that out. How do I zoom out? The Waking Shores. So that's where I'm at. The Forbidden Reach, Thaldrasis, the Azure Span, and Oneron Plains. One, two, three, four, five. There are five zones. Okay. That's like the standard amount of zones they release every expansion. Our ambush was a success. The convoy yielded enough eggs to begin. Hey, who are they? Oh, no. Infuse them with the elements. Wash away the stain of order. Order? With what a capital O? Outsiders have come ashore. We cannot oh, let them wait, interfere. no. I, okay, I understand. I understand. Order as in... Because they just recently... Um started on this whole co cosmic stuff going on, right? There's life, there's order, there's chaos, there's uh, fell, there's void, and I forget what else. So now order is its own, you know, domain? We must save the It's strange. Eggs. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt? Why? Why? Whoa. Oh, I can fly. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. One of the worst parts about this game is having to run back to your corpse. It's so... It's mood killing. Uh, mood killing. That's a layer of friction in the game that I do not like. Yeah. It's another relic. Another, you know, old game. Um, yeah, I'll just call it a relic. Modern games don't do this anymore. Can I mount up? There we go. I also don't miss, you know, having to cast a mount thing. Albeit, it's only like one second. It takes one second to mount up. Preach noticed it once. He has his raptor, and he says it should be in all the mounts of any MMO. Yes. Yes. 100% yes. Yeah. 
I don't think Blizzard would ever do that, though. Blizzard, um... You probably know this. They're very stubborn. They're very, very, very stubborn. They're like the anti-fun police. I heard that they nerfed the soaring mechanic for the Drakthir. It used to be, like, it has, it had, I don't know if it had a cooldown, but they did something to the cooldown, and now the Drakthir have a four minute cooldown before they can soar again. Which is weird. Silly. Like, why? Why is there a cooldown? There shouldn't be any. I don't know. And the speed of it. Oh, that's right! Yeah! Oh, well, we're afraid that everybody will play a Drakthir. No, I'm not playing a Drakthir. I don't care how fast it is. I'm not playing one. <laughs> Save go. the eggs. This is my calling. A whole brood of whelplings lost. Oh, there's one more location we have not checked yet. The large ritual site where that proto-dragon dropped off the eggs. Let us charge their cruel defenses together. For the Lifebinder! Uh, for the Horde? Now, grab the egg. Get it to Alexstrasza. Well, I'm, I'm being attacked. Oh, I got it. For the blood. For Wait, the she died. Oh, damn, she sacrificed herself to save the babies. Oh. Gotta go, 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 I will summon the major domo at once. Like a rug, yeah, a rugby game. <laughs> what is the emergency, Ascra? Has the enemy, by the life binder, is that an egg? It'd be an egg. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't grow up to be like Rathian. That little we punk. We call the strong to protect the weak. Is that? Yes, it is. I must inform our queen at once. Can I go meet the queen? I haven't seen the queen in ages. I will await you. Ride with Major Domo Celestra to the Ruby Life Shrine. Okay. Take me with you to see the, the Queen. Blessing. Oh my Very god, finally! Well, just this once. My Queen! Hold on tight, if you can. The tenders alerted me as soon as a caravan of eggs went missing. But to hear what happened to them. Was that necessary? Our flight has endured many blows over the years. We had just started to recover. And now this. You told me to hang on tight and then you do a barrel roll like, wow, yeah, I'll the have to hang on tight. charged with nurturing life. We must stop the Primalists. We must stop the Proto-Dragons. Ooh, holy crap, that looks amazing. Welcome to the Ruby Life Shrine, Champion. I am glad my Major Domo has brought you to me safely. About damn what time. what you here so urgently? Um, bad things are happening. Hold on, before I talk to the queen, let me have a look at, you know, that hole. This entire area is pretty damn beautiful. Ooh, what? Wait, why am I being bonked? I didn't do anything yet. You know, appreciating the beauty of this hole. Oh, wait. This is way better than Worm Rest Temple. Greetings. Hmm. Hmm. She kind of looks better. In some ways. Definitely. 
She has a very cool outfit. Very edgy. You two look like a couple. <laughs> we match. Same colors. Gold and red. Yeah. She actually already has a mate. She has a brood mate. I forgot their name. Carl? No, not Carl. Some... It started with a K, but I forget. Offer the rescued egg to Queen Alexstrasza. Treasure the gift oh. you have been... What has happened to this egg? The energies that surround it are... This is dire. If the egg can be saved, it will be here, within the sacred waters of the life pools. Once the young of dragonkind filled this vibrant place. <coughs> and the ruby oath stone, the very symbol of our calling, cast its bright glow high into the air. For all to see. Now it lies dormant, as do all the oath stones. I suspect they fell quiet when we relinquished our aspectral power. There are so many things we left behind. Hmm. But now that we have come home, we can fulfill the callings of our flights and renew the five oath stones. And through their unity, our absent power shall be restored. Wait, so you can recover your power that you lost at the end of Cataclysm? Is that what I'm hearing? Am I hearing that right? I mean, that would be neat. Because I always found the ending to Cataclysm to be kind of dumb. I didn't like that they lost, you know, most of their power at the end of Cataclysm. Yeah, alright, so you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, her her broodmate did die in Cataclysm. It was Deathwing, right? Deathwing killed him. You definitely got that thirst mog. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't even hide it. I'm not even ashamed of it. It used to be worse. A couple of weeks ago, I didn't even have these shoulder pads and the cape and the gauntlets. It was literally just the top and the, the bottoms. But I decided, you know, all right, you know what? Maybe I will put on a little more. Just a little. And in trade, we'll gladly bear a rider across the lands. Speak with Lord Andy here in the Ruby Life Shrine. He will explain more of what they intend. Oh, I'm getting dragon riding. Oh my God, finally. All right, here we go. I think she's like technically hotter. She is definitely hotter. Because, like, she's up res and she's got, you know, uh, more pixels. I will say this, though. What is it you seek? I miss the midriff. I do. Blizzard's not a big fan of midriffs. I've noticed that. Because all the, char all the characters that did used to have midriffs, they're all gone now. No, shut up. No. No, 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 shh. This dragon has glasses! <laughs> Come on! And you are the one I'm supposed to talk to. The sky calls. Alright, tell me about dragon riding. Keep your welcome. I'm glad you are ready to explore our wondrous isles. Why has it got to be a proto-dragon, though? Why couldn't it have been, you know, an actual dragon dragon? I don't want, you know, this puny-armed, uh, goofy-looking dragon thing. I want an actual dragon. Alright, whatever. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, just like with the drag theory, the landing, you know, could use some work. That's an even better tutorial. The drag theory didn't get, you know, these little arrows that point downward. Okay, all right.
Got it. Alright, give me something harder than that. Come on. It's the exact same course you've given me. Come on. S something harder! Alright, I'd like to try the course. Come to the Skytop Observatory. I will introduce you to others who can provide you with information about the other wondrous things you may do with your Drake. Here we go. Finally. What are my buttons again? Search for it? Okay, alright. Oh, I have a meter to my bottom right. Oh, fly upward like this. There we go, there we go. Okay. That's better. I think, you know, the mount handles slightly better than flying with the Drakthir. But only ever so slightly. Now. Oh, I see. I need to click this. Oh. Okay. Very interesting. Full transformation? Storm Eater? Wait, what the? That's Razageth. I can ride Razageth? Source. Vault of the Incarnates. I'm guessing that's the raid. Uh, skin color? We're gonna keep it red. Skin scale type? Light or heavy? Oh, I see. It makes barely a difference. Pattern. Man, I don't have any of these patterns. I'm too poor for these patterns. Saddle? Well, you gotta have a saddle. Why would I ride a dragon without a saddle? That's weird. Armor color. Red and gold. Perfect. No, I can't even... It's... I'm too poor for red and gold? But that's my thing! That's my thing! That's dumb! That's so... Oh. Ew. Ew. These are all ugly, dude. It's all very ugly. So, can you not have an actual dragon dragon? You're stuck with a proto dragon? But I... I have collected a lot of dragon mounts that are not, you know, dragon riding mounts. Why couldn't they have made it so, you know you can apply the dragon riding to your existing dragon mounts. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not feeling the proto drakes. There are four different dragon riding drakes. Are there now? Hopefully they're not proto drakes. Huh. Okay. Cool. All right, time to fly. So I... Dive a little, build some speed, and then I just do that. Use this to gain some altitude. Oh, I see. These little circles, you know. So I use them up whenever I use one of these abilities, like Surge Forward and Skyward Ascent. Yeah. It's a resource for the dragon, right? Okay. Mommy, I'm back. All life is worth saving. What is your need? There you go. You're right. What the hell? What happened? That was weird. My queen, please. There is something here you will want to see. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was no ordinary quake. Let's go find out what that is. Oh. Is the land shifting? I sense this Wait for me! Can I have ridden on Alexstrasza? Said every man ever. A storm. Wait, Razageth. Oh no. Oh. 
Major Domo, protect the eggs below while I distract Razagath. She will not harm our young. Seriously? Oh, damn it. Holy crap, rumbling proto dragon. I am not a fan of these, you know, giant rock dudes just coming in to bully me. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this hurts too much. And I think I know the reason why I'm hurting so much. It's because I'm not replacing my gear. I'm doing all these quests, you know, for better gear, and I am not equipping them. I should. But I know once I equip these uh, gear pieces, my character will not look hot anymore. So I will wait until I am able to stop by a city so I can transmog all these items. I'd rather die than look like a chump. Just buy the transmog vendor mount, easy. To be the Isn't that like super expensive? The forces you seek to unleash will imperil us all. False queen. It is your blind allegiance to the titans that threatens this world. Why are you so anti-titan? They seem pretty legit, except for Odin. Odin kind of sucks. Oh, and I guess Sargeras, I mean, but he kind of defected. He doesn't count. I'm glad that I don't have to install any mods anymore. I don't want to have to play this game, you know, with mods again. So no DBM, no bartender, no weak auras. Do they know the truth? from them. How you locked us away. Denied our existence. I need to target some It was the only path to peace. The war that divided dragonkind had to end. Use it again. It's working. She's trying to suck me in. Wait, what happened? Did the game crash? Oh! Oh my god, that scared me, dude! Enough! <sighs> we need not fight another war. There is still time to see reason. Time is precisely what you stole from me. Thousands of years rotting in that prison. I failed then to restore peace between us. Too many paid for that. Spare me your sanctimony. You forced the titans needed to Why do you gotta be all. such an angry porcupine? You betrayed the world that gave us life. And when we dared resist, you cast us out. Wait. What do you mean, cast them out? Ooh! Good punch! This was way more badass than the fight with Deathwing. Your false reign must end. She can't be dead. She's one of the main characters. Who's that? Rathian? Rathian? Coming in clutch with the rescue. You are bold, well played. But you are fighting on the wrong side. She never 
atoned for the suffering they inflicted upon us. The insult of being forgotten. I want her to watch helplessly as everything she built comes crumbling down. Only then will she meet a fitting end. Wait, so did I kill? Okay, I, I guess I killed Jezgeth. <laughs> I better get out of here. Interesting. So, Razageth and her kind were maybe probably bullied by Alexstrasza and the rest of them? Someone has problems letting things go, for real. Yeah, maybe, maybe she was. All right, maybe, maybe Alex Straza did bully Razageth when, but that was probably when they were younger, right? Maybe when they were teenagers. Maybe uh, Alex Straza gave Razageth way too many wedgies in high school. But you gotta move on. That was high school. Everybody was kind of a dick in high school. Grow up. What the hell is that? I'll ask you again. I'll ask again, are you sure I can't do anything to help? What the hell is this? Wait, what? There's a gnome! It's just floating in the air, what's going on? That's fun. You no, know, just running into My random queen. little adventures like it's that. A mighty blow. I will call for aid. She seems all right. I will be fine, Celestra. The eggs? Rescued, safe. None remain in the clutches of the primalists. Oh. I am happy to see that I arrived just in time. Yeah. Good on you, Rathian. You did good. Do you think I have big mom energy? There is hope. I... Uh, no, no. Hold on, that's is that they really I will listen. Do you think I have big mom energy? Oh my god. <laughs> well it's not an annoyed poke line, but Big Mom Energy? Oh. I guess Blizzard may know their audience after all. I am beginning to understand what drove my father mad. You do realize I am a dragon, yes? Yeah. That I can breathe fire? Just making sure. We meet again, I remember. champion. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's it. <laughs> uh, those are those are great. I love doing that. Um they may not know what people want objectively, but culture is always in harmony. Yeah, I mean, they know who exactly, you know, the players thirst over. I still find it funny that Rathian calls Deathwing his dad when he's actually his grandson. Rathian's mom was a random black dragon in the Blasted Lands that was being experimented on. That much? Oh, wait, no, it was not Sinestra. Okay. I do remember that he was born in the Blasted Lands. She was Onyxia and Nefarian's sister. Again, it could be another case of Blizzard forgetting their own writing. <laughs> Even I have forgotten, though. <laughs> Maybe it's like a dragon thing. Maybe they consider, you know, their leader, you know, the main brood, uh... Sorry, not the broodmate, but the, the leader to be their father. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna pretend that I understand dragons. All right, that is all for the night, you guys. It is midnight. It's very, very late. Um, I will say this. My impressions for Dragonflight are a lot better um, w this time around, as opposed to last week when I tried the Drakthir Evoker. I did not enjoy the starting area for the Drakthir Evoker. I thought that was kind of silly and kind of dumb. Um, the Waking... What is it called? The Waking Shores or whatever zone I was in? That was a lot better. That was interesting. 
Um, I don't find myself, I mean, I've said this time and time again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I don't find myself playing this game in a long-term way. What I think I'll do is play it in spurts. I'll play it like little bit by little bit. I'll take a break, you know, I especially need to take a break uh, from this game soon because, well, one, Tears of the Kingdom is coming out soon. So I want to play Breath of the Wild, play that, then play the new Zelda game, and then maybe I'll hop back on to this game. Because this is actually okay. It's not bad. It's alright. It's a lot better than BFA and Shadowlands at the moment. All good. Breath of the Wild is like 70 hours?! It's a Zelda game! Zelda games aren't 70 hours! You guys take care of yourselves and, you know, stay safe and be kind to each other. I'll catch y'all later.